Hi guys, I'm just jumping on because it's Saturday the 4th of February and we are off to the biggest wedding fair in the northeast today at Newcastle's Utility Arena. So I'm really, really excited. I've got some specific like supplier categories I'm looking for. So things like cakes and florists and like hair and makeup artists. And I've got some specific like suppliers that I know that are going to be there that I really want to speak to. They also have a massive catwalk show um, and yeah I'm just really really excited. It's like the last wedding fair I think we're going to go to. I think we'll pretty much be there after this so I'm hoping to get lots of details, lots of options for the things that I'm still looking for um, and yeah I'm really excited. So of course I'm going to bring you along with me if you've never been to a wedding fair before and um, hopefully it'll be really helpful to see what it's sort of like and yeah I'll show you all the different things on offer, a bit of the catwalk show and stuff so we're going to go to the wedding fair and then I'll catch up with you afterwards. <laughs> Thank you. 
really good productive time I've picked up so many leaflets that I'm going to show you I've got them all spread out here I spoke to some cake makers some makeup artists um, florists that I really wanted to speak to and they offer really good deals at these things so it's really worth going to um, and a makeup artist offering free trial free cake sampling and like no obligation cooks and things I even met a ring maker like I didn't realize that you could get these people who make like just bespoke rings so yeah I learned lots of stuff that so was really good okay so here's everything that I picked up I mainly focused on florists and hair and makeup artists and um, I did also pick up any wedding dress shops just because I have booked the one wedding dress shopping day and I am going to a bridal beloved place as well, which is secondhand dresses. But I just thought, I don't know where I'm going to end up with dresses. So it was useful to pick that up. Hello, everyone. It has actually been a couple of weeks since the wedding fair and since we were catching up. And it's just been crazy busy. So I haven't had a chance to pick up the camera and talk to you about what's been going on. But we did have a really good time at the wedding fair um, and met a lot of suppliers, a lot of cake makers and makeup and hair artists, which is what I was really interested in. So the tasks on this month's to-do list was finding a cake maker and making inquiries and finding a florist and making inquiries. So when we were, were going around the fair, they had loads of offers on things like free cake tasting some of them had samples with them some of them were offering like obviously if you gave your details they would give you a free cake tasting so we spoke to quite a lot of people one of the ones that we tasted the cake of and thought was really nice they said they would like email us a quote um, and in the meantime I had seen a local cake maker who is literally based like very very close to where I live um, they've been online a lot and they've had some cakes in TV programs locally and things so they were definitely on my to contact list and then we also had well I have a, a like a family friend who has made cakes for like her whole career she doesn't make cakes anymore but she makes toppers and I saw her post on Facebook that she had been working with a cake maker so she'd made the topper and they'd made the cake and I thought that was a good person to inquire with as well. So basically put out three cake inquiries, one from the wedding fair, one from locally and one through like a contact. Um, and I got the quotes back and two of them. So the one from the wedding fair and the one through sort of a family friend were identical. So they were £375, including delivery to our venue. This is for a standard three tier cake like a sponge cake, different flavoured tiers, but I haven't said like what flavours. The one from the wedding fair did say if we went for certain flavours like red velvet or lemon, it would be more on top of their quote. Um, the other, it was all inclusive. So that was £375, which I just, I feel like that is a lot to pay for a cake. I am not at all undervaluing like the time and effort it takes to make that cake. I totally appreciate that. But for like my own wedding, thinking about the sort of level of value I put into the cake, it's really just for the photos. Like I understand some people have like a grand vision and they're really invested in how the cake looks and tastes and everything. And for me, that's just not high on my priority list. So I'm just asking for a naked cake. It's not going to be iced or anything. Um, so yeah, £375 was a bit more than I was looking for in my budget for cake. But the local one came back at 280 including delivery, any flavour sponge that they do. Um, so that was a £95 difference at least. So I have just literally been and picked up a box of samples. Um, so this is from the local cake maker. I've literally just gone and picked this up. Um, and it says the flavours are red velvet, lemon, chocolate, vanilla, raspberry white chocolate and salted caramel. I do know that they do some more flavours as well as that. So they don't just do those flavours because they have like an elderflower sponge and things. But they're the ones in the sample box. This was £20 which comes off of the total if we proceeded to book. So 
this would be included in the cake but obviously if we don't proceed to book then we've paid 20 pound for the samples it's a pretty heavy box it's a yeah feels pretty full so that's 20 pounds worth of cake we are going to try that later with um a few drinks i think we've just got back from a family meal for johnny's granddad's 95th um birthday we went to town for a chinese with all of johnny's side of the family um so we've literally just got back johnny has gone to the match straight after the meal because there is a newcastle home match um on so he's at the match when he gets back we will be eating cake so also at the wedding fair, um, there was a florist who I wanted to speak to and I'd actually messaged them on Instagram before, like we'd started chatting because I saw them post that they were going to be at the fair, so I commented and then she messaged me. So we'd had a little bit of pre-chat um, and this florist is actually someone who went to school with Johnny's brother or she was at the same school as Johnny but in the same year as, her, as his brother. So again, a bit of a connection and Johnny's cousin had actually told me about her and that she did flowers and stuff. So a bit of a connection there as well. We met her, we had a brief chat and she is actually coming over to the house in March to chat about flowers and talk things through and things. So I've ticked off both of those on my to-do list. So I found a florist and made inquiries and, you know, fingers crossed we'll be able to proceed with that florist when we have our meeting next month found three cake makers, I've got my box of samples, so fingers crossed, I'm happy with it and I can proceed to book that. Um, if not, I do have like lots of flyers from the wedding fair as well, so I feel like I have you know, other options. So at the wedding fair, there was a couple of other things that we found. One is ring related, so there was like a man there with wedding rings who basically will design your wedding ring for you, and I didn't really and realised that was a thing. Um, so obviously he was trying to sell me a wedding ring and I was saying that I'd already bought mine, but I definitely think it's something that we're gonna like contact him about for Johnny's ring. So that was a contact that we made. And another thing that I saw that I will have to get Johnny on board with, <laughs> he's definitely not sold on it at the moment, was a photo booth. There was basically a photo sort of prop booth being launched at the wedding fair brand new by this company and I just really loved it I mean it's absolutely unnecessary but I really really loved it so I'll pop a little few images or whatever I can find of it let me know what you think is it like it is extra but is it too extra is it unnecessary my friends who were up here actually that weekend they had a photo booth at their wedding and they said it was like really brilliant because they got a load of extra photos from it obviously um because the photo booth they had everyone like got a traditional photo booth strip they could take but then there was a second like printed version of the same photos that got stuck in a book for the bride and groom so that's really nice so i'll show you some pictures of this new thing and yeah tell me if you think it's worth it or if it's just too extra and i'm being silly Okay, so this is the photo booth. It's basically a big glass box personalised with your name and where you got married and your wedding date. I just think it's really different and I haven't seen anything like this before. Photos are huge in this day and age and everyone likes to have like something to pose in. Like that is just the world we live in, isn't it? But I do know it's unnecessary. Okay, so Johnny's home. We're about to start our cake sampling. And this is all the samples that are in the box. I've cut them into little small bits. So each bit is like cut in half again. And Johnny's popping the Prosecco to go with our cake so we can make a little bit of an event of it. I had been dying for him to get home to start this cake tasting. I'm not gonna lie. What we're starting with? You tell me. Should we start with the plainest one? Mm-hmm. I'll have the one that's fell out. <laughs> Is that all you have having? No. <laughs> You're going to tell me it's white chocolate and raspberry, aren't you? No. Fine. Mm -hmm. It's nothing special. Well, no, well, that's a Victoria spot, you know. <laughs> it's not mega Get moist. <laughs> it was touching the salt caramel. 
you were doing it as if we were going to somehow <laughs> marry them two up. You went, oh, that's my bit that's left. Salted caramel. Is it salted caramel and something or just? Just salted caramel. Mm -hmm. I like that. Got the caramel flavour, I didn't get any salt. Yeah. I don't think that massively matters. Oh, well, that's just a caramel flavour. <laughs> I like it. I like caramel. <laughs> So, because we're going to have three tiers, I'd like them to be different colours. Mm -hmm. So, it'll be good to have, like, obviously <clears throat> chocolate. That's then, like, a darker, and then that's, like, a lighter. Like, the three tiers, for mm -hmm. example. But if you wanted them just different colours, you can say, I want a white chocolate and raspberry, and I want blue food colour. Right? You can have it any colour you want. I don't want it blue. I know, but that's, that's what I mean. Your flavour is completely irrelevant, to be well, fair. No, it's not. When I was talking to a woman at the fair, that's what she said. She said, like... I think it was a white chocolate one, she said that's a good one to have because it's very light. Mm. I liked that a lot. Let's face it, we wouldn't be having Victoria Sponge. No. Tastes, in, tastes Victoria Sponge-ish, that like. It does. It's still the raspberry and white chocolate. There's definitely the knee. Yeah, there's more. There is raspberry jam in there, but there ain't no white chocolate in that. <coughs> Not for me, anyway. You <laughs> oh. sounded like a proper food critic. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is my. This is my. This is my audition off. tape for the bake off. This. <laughs> Wait for me. Well. I've never been a red velvet fan. No. It just feels like food colouring. There's nothing more to it than food colouring. No, it was moister than some of the others were bad. Moister than one and three. Yeah, that one was moist. Those mm. two weren't. Yeah, I wouldn't pick it. No. So I'm hoping we'll really like these two. Cleanser. Does Prosecco palette cleanse? The bubbles make everything wash away. Lemon? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is nice. I feel like this is a flavour we would go for. Yeah, probably. Lemony. Mm -hmm. Lemon, moist. Moist. <coughs> mm. Which, considering I had the end bit as well, it was still nice and moist. Good. Last one. Very chocolatey. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think we'd have to concede that at your wedding we're having a chocolate cake no matter what. One of the layers is Oh fine. yeah, 100%. The middle layer is going to be chocolate. <coughs> I mean, yeah. I'm guessing that they're just six sample, like six examples of what they do. They're not just every. No, because it has an elderflower flavour. Ah, which will be disgusting. <laughs> That's my favourite. I wouldn't say I'm blown away. No, however, prior to this, you were quite happy. No, and I still feel. 
I'm still <coughs> quite happy for it to just be satisfactory mm -hmm. because people are going to get tiny weeny little bits mm -hmm. and it's nice enough. We're going to blow the guests away on with the rest of the day cakes. Yeah. No. I agree. Mm -hmm. I like these two, do you? Mm hmm. Yeah, definitely like the lemon. And yeah, the caramel ones. Good. Just needs more salt. Where's my caramel? <laughs> it's been demolished. <laughs> There's more in the pot. Yes. There's another two caramel bits. Well, I should have had an extra bit on here as well. <laughs> Yours is mine. Mm. <laughs> and what's mine is mine. Right. Well, I'll just take that all is of this. The moral of marriage. Is it? Well, we're not married. <laughs> it's a bit presumptuous at this stage. <laughs> Hello. I'm just jumping in because. I'm very aware that we did our cake tasting last night and then we didn't really summarise where we were at with things. Um, and to be fair, we didn't actually discuss it amongst ourselves. So Johnny's at the shop at the moment, Luca's napping. So I just thought I'd tell you my thoughts and then when Johnny walks in, we'll ask him what he thinks we're doing. So what I'm thinking is we might hold on putting the order in and just see if we can maybe try and get a few more quotes and maybe another tasting. Um, I do have like a free cake tasting offer from someone at the wedding fair, so I might see if we can go and do that to compare. Purely because the cake was fine, but it wasn't the nicest, or some of the flavors definitely were a bit on the dry side. The lemon and the salted caramel, which were two I think we'd pick, were actually the moist ones, but yeah, I just think I'm very aware that, as I said, we went for the cheapest one, so, you know, we have to compromise. We can't expect the best quality for the cheapest price, which I completely appreciate. But um, I would just like to maybe try and get a few more quotes. Maybe there's a middle ground, someone that's not as expensive as the other two quotes we had, but a little bit more and maybe a little bit better quality. I don't know. So we'll see. I don't feel in a rush to book this because... Our wedding date is still not until next summer and it's in the middle of the week so I think it would be really unlucky for someone else to book this local cake maker for our date. I also was up for a couple of hours in the night last night um, with a really bad tummy. I basically felt like I had a fire, like a ball of fire in my stomach and yeah I had an upset tummy and I was sick once as well. Um, but I'm absolutely not blaming the cake for that or saying there was anything wrong with the cake. Obviously, Johnny had the cake and he was absolutely fine. Um, I do have IBS and a dairy intolerance. So, I mean, we, we went out for lunch, as I said yesterday, to a Chinese restaurant. And then we had the cake samples, which were probably very rich in like creams and butter and stuff. So it may well have been that, but it's not the cake's fault. <laughs> so I'm absolutely not blaming the cake for that. But I am feeling really rubbish this morning and kind of regretting eating anything I haven't eaten yet it is 1 p.m and I've not had anything to eat yet today because I just can't stomach the thought of anything so that has tainted the experience a little bit for me unfortunately okay, here comes Johnny so I'm gonna get him to come and join us and give his verdict okay cake verdict <laughs> what do you think we're doing well I think we're going with the samples we've just had we're going with that supplier definitely okay do you concur? What, what, what are your reasons? Because the cake was nice enough for what we need a cake to be. I'm not. By that time, I'll have had a three course meal and then I'll have evening food as well. And for the morsel of cake that I'm going to have, it was very adequate. Yeah. I do agree with that, but I was wondering whether we explore a couple more quotes and a free cake tasting. Mm -hmm. offer that we've got from the wedding fair because if we don't find anything better I am happy to go with that cake but I don't feel in a rush to book it because I don't think he'll book our date. 
So no, if there's a chance of more free cake, I'm, I'll have free cake. I'm not bothered about that. <laughs> so yeah, we'll go with them if we don't find anything better for like the price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go, that is our little summary from our cake tasting experience last night. Um, I'm now gonna hand you back over to yesterday's me for the rest of the roundup of this vlog. I just thought I'd do a little run through of like last month's outstanding decisions because I know that in the vlog I talked about a few things but I hadn't quite made my decisions on them or been able to complete them by the end of the vlog. So I know one of them was wedding insurance I had contacted my venue to find out if we needed like public liability insurance and she came back and said that they had that in their insurance for like a million or however much it was, a lot of money. So she was like, you definitely, you know, you don't need that in your insurance. So that just shows that, you know, the insurance company were trying to sell that as if it was something you should have. And certainly for my venue, I don't. So it's definitely worth asking the question because that was an extra £60. So I went through with my insurance quote from the Insurance Emporium um, and it came in so much less than I was expecting. So having looked at like wedding insurance previously, I had actually budgeted £300 for my wedding insurance and it only came in at £135. So I'm really, really happy. That is because I didn't include public liability insurance and I didn't include the COVID cover because when I thought about it a bit more, you know, my elderly relations, which is who I was concerned about, they, you know, unfortunately they could get any illness between now and the wedding and it seemed silly to just go with like COVID. Um, I feel like at this point it's unlikely that would be the thing, um, you know, that that impacted the wedding I guess fingers crossed touch wood it's not and I'm not eating my words but I just had a bit of a think about it and you know unless it was me or Johnny who were adversely affected by Covid or one of our parents it didn't really apply so it just didn't seem worth you know adding for the extra £50 so £135 for the insurance I was really really happy with that the other outstanding question was the ring so I did go and find one that matched my engagement ring in terms of the setting so it's a channel setting um, and the ring that I bought if you've watched my last vlog you'll know it's not the same setting so it's the, the diamonds aren't set into the band in a channel setting but I really loved the ring and I was debating whether I needed like a matching set or whether it was fine I did go and I got a matching one I tried it and it just it just didn't give me the same feeling so I'll pop a little clip of the like the matching ring so you can see it but I stuck to the original and I really really love it so I've got that one I've kept it and yeah I've got my wedding ring so that's everything for this month guys it's been like a slower one wedding planning but it's actually felt really nice because it's just been relaxed and I've been able to go through my few tasks it's not been stressful it's felt very manageable and that was the whole point of my wedding planning calendar so so far I'm really happy, I feel in control, I don't feel stressed. I want to enjoy this process. You get married once and I really didn't want to become that like bridezilla who was just stressed and didn't enjoy the process or the day and drove her like partner mad as well because I want him to be excited for the wedding. I don't want him to just think it's like so much hassle because I'm like, you know, so stressed and not happy um, because that would make him unhappy. So yeah it's working so far we're only in month two but yeah I'm really pleased with how it's going so I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog guys please do leave me comments let me know your thoughts on everything and yeah give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you would like to see more of my wedding planning journey so that you get notified when I post my new vlogs each month but yeah I'll see you next month in next month's wedding planning catch up